we turn to a success story about two determined school districts in economically distressed regions of California. Budgets are small and poverty rates are high in each of them. So when Fresno Unified and Long Beach Unified teamed up to address a K-6 through math crisis, they had to meet frequently and they needed to do it face-to-face -face without breaking budgets. To talk about how they did it, I'm joined here at the Fresno Unified School District headquarters by Superintendent Michael Hansen. And we're joined via telepresence uh, with Chris Steinhauser in the Long Beach Unified School District. Chris, good to see you. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. So Thank this you. has got to be a really familiar format to the two of you. Actually, you use telepresence for solution building, right? How did the two of you decide to connect? Chris, I'll start with you. Well, Mike and I belong to a group called the California Collaborative for District Reform. And at one of our meetings, we thought it was a great idea if we put our two school systems together to solve problems together. So how are you doing this, Mike, prior to telepresence? How are you actually meeting and making this whole thing work? Prior to telepresence, we would be at, there were probably two groups that Chris and I belonged to where we would see each other over the course of a year, a total maybe of five times. And then we were, we were either on the phone, which is what everybody knows the phone to be, or we were traveling yeah. to each other's district, which can be uh, difficult at times. So, Chris, now you've got, you two are connected, Long Beach and Fresno, Garden Grove is online as well, Oakland Correct. is soon to join. How has this impacted productivity, being able to talk to each other face to face but without all the travel time? Well, it's, it's amazing. Um, we're getting so much done faster and more efficiently and, and at a very low cost. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a great example. Last spring, we sent a, a group of math teachers up to Fresno and when they were in Fresno, they were meeting back here through telepresence with my math teachers here talking about common assessments that they're going to deploy this year. That would have taken months to complete, and they were able to do it in one day. Mm. And Mike, you also stress that accountability is something that's come to the fore since you started using yeah, telepresence. I, I, th that. I think that um, when you're face-to-face, -face, you know, even through telepresence, it, it is as real as it gets. And the face-to-face -face accountability and follow-up necessary uh, when you've committed to something, I think, comes into... Uh, clear focus when you know you're actually going to see the folks that you're accountable to and partners. So uh, it, it, it has been an added level of accountability that both systems need uh, and we, we check each other and keep each other in check as we move forward that way. Right. Uh, how can you quantify this? In other words, we talk about travel costs, of course you've seen lower travel costs, but in terms of test scores, have you seen quantifiable results? Oh, I, I think around the, the mathematics work that, that Chris and Long Beach Unified had, had implemented over a series of years uh, through this work, we were able to go much faster than they did. Uh, we learned from all their mistakes, mm -hmm. implemented in all 60 elementary schools at once, and for our last two years uh, running, we've had historic uh, gains in mathematics K-6, and it's attributed wow. to the partnership and to the work that, that Chris forged uh, with his staff over probably a five-year period. We were able to just pick it up and go. Uh, so it, it, I would say just last year alone, we had 2,000 more elementary kids who were proficient mm -hmm. or advanced in California. Uh, in our district than we'd had the year for, uh, before, and that is, I tell our staff, that's 2,000 lives, that's 2,000 futures, that's 2,000 sets of promises uh, that we now have to uphold as we move them through the rest of our system. Changed forever. Absolutely. So, Chris, when I think about technology, I often think about the learning curve that's associated with it. As staffers are using this technology now, not just you two, it's really expanded. Um, talk about what the learning curve has been like. Has this been a real adjustment period for, for staffers trying to use it? Not for the staffers. The staffers, um, they're used to this technology. Um, an individual like myself who's a low-tech guy, uh, it's a huge learning curve. Um, but luckily, I have great staffers who can help me through this. This is a very simple process. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay. Mike knows he's smiling because yeah. he yeah. knows uh, <laughs> I, I'm finally moving into the 21st century. So that the, uh, But what's exciting about this project, and I would just want to say, is that yes, Mike's had great success with his math program and what they've done there, but it's even made us become much better at what we're doing in our um, math program because of this collaboration of this. It's, this program really takes, in my opinion, prof uh, professional development to a level that we haven't seen and so fast. Yeah. yeah. And how about on your side, Mike? I, 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 I would say the same thing. Um, you know, we, are, we moved uh, pretty deliberately with K-6 mathematics and as we started to see those results, we knew we'd get a second year of, of great returns. It forced us into a middle school mathematics conversation much more quickly than we ever would have been without kind of this great fast feedback with one another. So we're all working on middle school math 
in, in new and different ways. So we think we're going to get great bumps there as well. But with respect to training, this is really as easy as it gets. It's push a button and Long Beach is on the other side. And um, it's been really no work for me. Uh, work with our staff getting it all set up. But in terms of ease of use, it couldn't be better. Well said. Mike Hansen and Chris Steinhauser, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.